The checker is a new device in GimKit Creative that allows you to set up certain conditions to check for. And when the player meets those conditions, you can have the checker transmit a signal on any channel that you'd like. And if the conditions fail, then you can have it transmit a different signal on a different channel. So I've set up a scenario that kind of demonstrates that. This is our checker. It looks like we have lots of different options. Um, one of the most unique things about it is that you can run several checks at once. So you could set up a variety of different conditions that all have to be uh, met in order for the checker to transmit a successful signal channel. Or you could set it so that if any of the checks pass, then the conditions are met and it'll transmit a successful message. So here's what that looks like in action. I set up four different buttons. I have them all running through our checker, and I have two different messages here. One will run on a successful check, and one will run on a fail check. So essentially what I need when I look at my checker, I have check one. I'm checking for an item. The item is bait. Uh, I can set it up less than, equal to, or greater than a number. So I was going to have it equal to three, but I decided to go with greater than two because in the case that someone gets more than three, that's what I still want to grant that as a successful condition met. So I set up greater than three instead of equal, or greater than two instead of equal to three. Check two is the same, except the item is the banana. And check three is the same, but the item is a beach fish. So you can see each of these buttons is going to grant me the items. And this button right here is going to check to see if I have um, all of those conditions met. So let's see it in action. If I go right to my checking button, a message that pops up says you're missing some stuff, seems like. You need to find that missing stuff, bud. So that's our failed message. We haven't met all the conditions in that checker. If I go to my first button, I'll get some bait, and I'll just go ahead and do that three times. I'll do the same with this one. Banana, banana, banana. Now I've met two of the conditions at this point. I have three bait and I have three banana, which are checks one and checks two. So if I go here and interact, I still get that message, that fail message. You're missing some stuff, seems like. If I go to this third button and meet my third condition, that message should change. And now I've met all three conditions. I go back and check again. And I pass the te this test. Great job collecting stuff, bud. So you can see that this checker provides a unique opportunity for game mechanics in your game that um, can take into account lots of different things in the game that you want to track.